This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Remember this little smiling, MAGA hat wearing bag of cat turds, Nick Sandman, the Covington High School smug proclaimer that he was counseled by council called Democrat council culture who subsequently went on to try to sue for defamation, many networks, seriously, seri- like, uh, close to a dozen networks, CNN ended up uh, settling with him, NBC ended up settling with him, and much to their chagrin, today we learn that uh, the judge tossed out the case against everybody else. Nick Sandman, an adult now, went on to speak at the Republican National Convention in 2020. Nick Sandman made the media rounds, a la Kyle Rittenhouse, going on Tucker and all the other Fox News ding dong shows, talking about how he had been canceled and he was gonna take it to the media, exactly like Kyle Rittenhouse Minus the murder, minus the killing. We'll keep ourselves out of legal jeopardy, allegedly. Uh, I'm gonna read a little bit from this article from Law and Crime about former Covington Catholic student, Nick Sandman, loses defamation lawsuits against CBS, ABC, New York Times, and others. After years of politically charged litigation, former Covington Catholic High School student Nick Sandman has lost a round of high-profile defamation lawsuits against five mainstream media companies at the summary judgment stage. That's according to court dockets and an opinion and order signed by a federal judge in the Eastern District of Kentucky on Tuesday. Sandman's case against ABC News, Rolling Stone Magazine, CBS News, newspaper and television station owner Gannett and the New York Times are now officially listed as terminated on the court record. I mean, this is good news for the suppressing of free speech in this country. Uh, You can make determinations. You can have analysis relative to what took place that day uh, at the foot of the Lincoln Memorial. I don't know exactly which media outlets. I mean, maybe CNN and NBC did go too far in what they said and what they were reporting as fact. I don't know. But I remember the uproar that day. And I remember the smug, shitty look on his face with a MAGA MAGA hat atop his dome. And everything that that, that followed that, that day. It was gross. And now... We're learning that a judge doesn't think he was defamed. He wasn't canceled. Sandman sued the five organizations in question and a few others, including CNN and NBC, on March 2nd, 2020. The lawsuits allege that various articles and broadcasts defamed Sandman by characterizing his actions toward Nathan Phillips, a Native American activist, on January 18th, 2019 in Washington, D.C., as nefarious. All parties moved for various forms of summary judgment. Summary judgment is when you just allow the judge to make the case. You don't go before a jury. I think that basically sums up what summary judgment is. So again, all parties moved for various forms of summary judgment and a judge agreed to dismiss the cases by agreeing with the five media defendants and disagreeing with Sandman's attorneys. Senior U.S. District Judge William O. Bertelsman, a Jimmy Carter appointee, explained the procedural machinations afoot. In analyzing the remaining legal issues, Bertelsman said some of Sandman's legal arguments were quote unquote, without merit. Again, like many conservatives who go to court and make claims and make a bunch of bluster and make the media rounds on Fox News and then finally get their case to court, it falls flat. Because either they didn't do their due due diligence, as in this case with Discovery, or 
They just don't have a case, whether it be Donald Trump's countless cases against people or Donald Trump's case against the 2020 election that was found to be absolutely meritless and tossed out of court over 60 times. This tends to be the way things go because it's a lot of bark and no actual bite from these clowns. As noted above, the court expressly held that while the allegations of Sandman's complaints pass the plausibility test at the pleading stage and that discovery should be had on the context of Phillips' statements, the actionability of the statements would be revisited on summary judgment, Bertelsmann wrote. Sandman's insistence that the court cannot now revisit this legal issue is ironic, considering that he vigorously and successfully moved the court to reconsider its initial ruling in the Washington Post case, Italics added. And then here we'll end with these. In sum, the law of the case doctrine does not preclude this court from reconsidering anew on summary judgment legal issues raised at the pleading stage, Bertelsmann concluded. And then finally, the, uh, <laughs> the ultimate wrap up here. In other words, in light of the terse discovery, Sandman's claims failed. So I guess this is a win for journalism in the United States of America. This is a win ultimately for the First Amendment of the Constitution of these United States uh, that we do indeed have free speech and freedom of the press. Uh, the, the, the most protected, the only occupation listed in the Constitution, named as protected in the Constitution. And another loss for conservatives who want to yap their yaps and make threats of defamation lawsuits. Because remember back in the day when Donald Trump said, uh, we need to open up our libel laws. That is exactly what Nick Sandman tried to do here. And he is a loser, a big fat loser in court. So sorry CNN and NBC for settling early, fellas. <laughs> Maybe you should have stuck it out and uh, stuck by the First Amendment of the Constitution. I would love to know what you think. Please, you can call. Leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would absolutely love to hear from you. I would absolutely love to hear from you on social media as well. I am at dollamore on TikTok, at dollamore on Twitter, and at dollamore on Instagram. I almost forgot. Instagram. It's easy to forget. It's just pictures. Um, if you appreciate what I do and you'd like to take part in my work, help accomplish the mission that I have stated that I want to accomplish here, saving our democracy, please consider supporting my work here on the platform. You can click the join button below right here on YouTube, become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are fantastic ways to support what I do right here. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.